Okay, set a period of time you're willing to spend on a project. This is one of the things that my dad taught me. My dad was a stock trader on, you know, he commodities, everything. He did it all when it comes to futures, options, all that stuff. So he taught me that it's good to dial in on a certain time that you work with. Like for some people, it'll be a day. Some people are just really good day traders. They're in and out, in and out, in and out. And that takes a lot of work. Some people are weak traders where, you know, they only have their high conviction in this week that this is going to happen. And NFTs, I've kind of played that. That's kind of my style is going more a week into projects and finding which ones are going to do in the course of a week much better. Some people are even two to three days. Some people are one to two months. Some people are even six months to a year. There's so many different trades going on, long-term, short-term, different things going on when it comes to all these strategies and things that you can do. So we're just trying to find that sweet spot for you, right? So if you're looking into NFTs and crypto projects and you're trying to find out, okay, how long should I really be staying in these projects? When should I get out? Even if like maybe sometimes the project doesn't even move at all. Sometimes the project goes absolute crazy. So you need to be able to analyze, okay, when should I be getting out and how long should I be staying in these projects? So some projects blow up in 72 hours, some blow up in three weeks after mint. You need to set a time depending on your strategy and plan. So once you have your mind set on when you are getting out, this next factor is important because you do not want to miss any future opportunities. The longest I will stay in a project for me personally is usually a month because I think anything longer than that is a little too risky in my opinion, unless there's different factors in play that kind of just make it an exception. But for the most part, I'm usually getting out by at least a month. Like I said, I'm more of a week trader. I like going on a week to week basis, especially with these NFT projects. And that's always worked for me. I feel like a month is more than enough time for you to see, okay, is this project going anywhere? If it hasn't already like five to 10 X by that point, then usually it's just best to like cut your losses or get out of the project if you even lost some and just go on to the next opportunity. Like I'm always saying, if a project initially already goes off past my five to 10 X, then I'll sell. I usually get out much earlier than whenever that whole month. I don't let that month happen if it already kind of excels. But if a month goes by and the floor prices stay the same, I always let go and try to find the next opportunity. This keeps me grounded in the process of making money and doing everything I can to maximize my gain. A lot of people have the issue of becoming too attached to their NFTs. Like some people, they just love their NFTs so much and they get too attached to it and they get too attached to their investment to the point where they're just stuck with it and they're holding it for way too long. And this can lose you so much money. You don't want that to happen to you. I've had it happen to me. It's not fun. It's much better to sell at the top than it is to sell like 70% down. But yeah, you need to find what works for you. Some people are better at week trading. Some people are better at day trading. Some people are better at month and even year trading. So finding what is right for you is going to be a process. But if you work hard and you research these things and you really get dialed in, and this doesn't just apply to trading NFTs. This kind of applies to trading anything. You want to use those fundamentals to help prepare you for what is going to happen because Setting a time for yourself is very important and it gives you almost a structure for the maximum willingness you're able to go with a project if it isn't moving. You already have that set in your brain so you're so there's no deviating from that so that you have a process and something that you can stick to and something that you can change the variable of if you need to. So yeah, overall setting a period of time you're willing to spend on a project is important and plays well into my plan of which projects I'm getting into and how long for and what my exit max is.